welcome to Angel Love 333. We got lucky this morning. We got beautiful sunshine coming in. I don't usually film this early, so I love when I do. But anyway, Aries, I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. We're going to do your love reading. Um, please remember, it may not resonate with any Aries out there. I do them every week. Um, so you can check back if it doesn't resonate. But what I will say, if it does resonate with you, there will be an extended reading link below. So you can check that out. And then lastly, I'll just say also in the description box is um, how to enter my giveaway. I do give away free personal readings each month. So basically, you just need to subscribe and like the video and you're entered in my giveaway. So Aries, let's get started with your reading. If I didn't say it, I hope you're all doing well, you're healthy, you're safe. And here we go. Let's get some messages here for Aries. This is from the Energy Oracle deck. Messages for Aries in love. All right. Okay. All right, so right away what I'm picking up here, Aries, you have Door to Spirit and you have Adjacent Possibilities. You have number 32, which is 5, and you have number 24, which is 6. So what I feel here, Aries, is you're growing through some sort of transition at this time. I feel when it comes to love, I feel that there is possibilities around you. But I feel like with this, this door here, I always call this the trap door. <laughs> there may be a situation in love where maybe you're repeating the same pattern. Um, and I'm going to say, you know, it may be an unhealthy pattern or it may be that you're attracting the same type of people or you're going out with the same type of people. Or there's a specific person here that you are still thinking about and your energy is really focused on this person and you're not seeing all the other possibilities. So I feel with this door to spirit, I feel spirit here is really trying to lead you to look at the other possibilities here. Now it can be, you know, you just opening yourself up to love, to new love, um, <clears throat> or there may be other people around you who are interested, but maybe you're not seeing that. And I want to say on the bottom of the deck here, you have number 34, which is seven. Uh, you got a progression here, five, six, and seven, door to personal healing and happiness. So I feel what Spirit is saying, there's going to be doors opening here for you in love. There may already be um, people who are interested in you at this time, but you may not be seeing it, okay? Because there's something here with this door here, okay? It can be your thinking. It can be, you know, patterns, past patterns or habits that aren't serving you anymore. And like I said, it could be a particular person that you're focused on, all right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, pull some tarot. I'm going to pull your energy. We're going to pull your person's energy. We'll get the mutual energy, and then I'm going to clarify and get some final messages, and then I'll take it to the extended so let's get started here, Aries. We're going to get two, let's get three cards for Aries. What is, what's Aries energy? Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What is Aries energy here? Okay, four of cups. It's interesting. Yeah, there's something here that you're very focused on. I feel a particular person, the magician and the hangman. And three cards for your person's energy. You have the five of wands. You have the tower. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have the page of wands, and this one wants to come out as well, the three of pentacles. Let's get the mutual energy between Aries and their person. <coughs> Excuse me. Early morning allergies. Okay. You have the Hermit, you have the Nine of Cups, and you have the King of Cups, and bottom of the deck, yeah, you got the Eight of Swords. Definitely feeling a stuck energy here, and I feel uh, that you may have a situation where 
either you're having a hard time transitioning to open yourself up to new possibilities um, or I feel there's a particular person here that your energy may be still attached to, okay? You're still thinking about this person because, again, here's that Four of Cups. You know, I like I said, I felt with this adjacent possibilities that there's still somebody here that I feel that you're still focused on. You're still focused here on this cup, okay? Hoping for a love offer. Now, for some of you, you know, there may be you know, if you don't have love in your life, it could be that you're just focused on how love should be, or maybe you feel love should happen a certain way, but maybe you're not really putting yourself out there, okay? Maybe you're you're thinking, okay, maybe I'll meet somebody at the grocery store or something like that, right? But um, I feel that there's a definitely an energy around you that I feel you're still thinking about a particular person and you may not be noticing that there are other possibilities for love in your life. Now you have the magician and the hangman, and I feel because you're so focused on um, this person, okay, or expectation, um, because it can just be your thoughts, I feel that you are delaying um, a manifestation, okay, of a new love, right? or just in love in general, okay? So your thoughts may be just very focused on this person, okay? So some of you may be wanting to be with a particular person and you can't get this person off your mind. You're feeling stuck. <clears throat> your person's energy, you have the Five of Wands, the Tower, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles, okay? So it feels like there was something here that happened between you and your person. It definitely shows that um, the foundation between you and this person is broken. It feels like something wasn't working here, okay? You and this person were not seeing eye to eye. I do get an energy here, you know, the five of wands. This can be an energy of competition or other people interfering in the connection here that may have contributed to you and this person having some side, some sort of, I'm just going to say argument, blow up, or, you know, definitely could have been something unexpected that happened in the situation, okay? Usually with this card, it's divine intervention. It was meant to happen. You got the door to spirit here, so I do sense that your guides are trying to guide you at this time. Um, there's a reason why this happened and for the short of it, it happened because something was not working between you and this person. Now you have the page of wands and you have the three of pentacles. So I do feel like this person uh, knows that you are disappointed. I feel like this person uh, wants to take some sort of action, wants to reach out to you. We'll clarify that. And we'll see where that goes in your, um, Mutual energy, you have the Hermit, Strong Virgo energy, you have the Nine of Cups, and you have the King of, King of Cups. So I feel like you're doing a lot of soul searching. I feel like um, you may be processing your emotions, thinking a lot about this. I feel like for some of you, you're still hopeful. Like I said, I feel like you're still focused on this person or still thinking about this person maybe hoping and wishing that things can work out. So we're going to clarify. We're going to see where this goes. We definitely have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Strong, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. We don't have any. Oh, yeah, we do have air energy here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So we have all the energies with Strong, Virgo so far. Let's uh, start clarifying and see what additional messages we can get here. Okay, I'm going to clarify the Four of Cups in your energy. See what you're focused on. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Why is the Four of Cups here, please? It can be hesitation, you know, you being hesitant um, either to move forward in new love or, you know, have not completely decided whether to let go of this person or not. So let's see why is the Four of Cups here. Yeah, you have a Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. And yeah, the Queen of Cups bottom. And look at that. You have the Hangman again. So I feel like you may still feel attached to this person. Um, you may be holding back at the same time, but I'm also getting here, you know, you may be feeling um, 
like this person didn't value you, okay? They may have made you feel alone, right? And I feel like you're still processing the emotions of this, okay? I still feel that you have feelings for this person. Let's see here. Um, you know, I'm not picking up new love. I'm definitely picking up a new person. When we do the final messages, new love may show up. We'll see uh, what that's about. Okay, in your person's energy, let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. I want to see here, what do they want to work on? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Okay, or what? what is that about? You have the Six of Cups. You have the Five of Swords. You have the Knight of Wands, okay, and uh, the Four of Swords. So I do sense that this person has been doing a lot of thinking, okay, since... Um, it does feel like there is some sort of separation or distance here between you and this person. This person may have broken your trust. I definitely picked that up that energy. I feel like there is some sort of conflict that went on between you and this person. <clears throat> I do pick up an energy that there could have been uh, some sort of third party situation. Um, and it doesn't have to be another love. You know, it could be anyone or a situation that interfered between you and this person coming together but i do feel like this person is returning like i said i do feel like they want to communicate um they do feel like you and them are have a strong connection a soulmate connection okay i do sense that this person has been doing a lot of thinking about you okay and i'm just gonna say yeah the ace of pentacles here as well <clears throat> So your person here, and then, and then you have the two of wands. I do feel like your person is definitely thinking about the future, okay? Thinking about the possibilities that this could grow um, and become a more stable relationship than what it is now. Now, I also get here too that this person is returning, okay? You got the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords here. This person's thinking about you. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about um, the memories the two of you have shared. But I would be cautious here with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords. Okay, so I <clears throat> feel like this could the person could be somebody who played games with you, right? They didn't value you. They may have made you feel alone. They may have been in and out of your life. So I would just use caution with this person. I'm going to clarify uh, the mutual energy and see where that is going. Why is the hermit here, please? Why is the hermit here, please? Okay, you have the Ace of Swords. Why is the Nine of Cups? And the Page of Wands. Okay, and why is the King of Cups here? The lovers, yeah. I feel like you still have feelings with for this person here with the lovers. Could be done with the Gemini. Very, very strong connection, but look at this. I feel there's an internal struggle. I feel like you're struggling with this situation because on one hand, you know that this person made you feel alone. Okay, they may not have valued you. Um, whatever happened in this situation, I do feel this could be somebody who played games somebody who could have been involved with someone else. Um, <clears throat> there could have been other people fighting for this person's attention. And I feel that's where you're doing some soul searching here, the Hermit and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're really trying to gain clarity here. I feel like some of you may be making a decision whether to cut this person out of your life. I do see that with the Ace of Swords. can be an energy of realizing that you know, maybe it's better that I start a new beginning and I don't let people into my life that don't value me. And that's that adjacent possibilities that I was um, saying there is that you may still be attracting or you may be attracting a certain type of person where they're not valuing you. That's not going to be for everybody um, or, or they're not respecting you. Okay. And so that's, how I feel spirit is trying to guide you to look at other possibilities. If you're currently single, if you and this person are not in a relationship, it's okay for you to see other people. And, um, you know, you never know here. Now you have the nine of cups and you have the page of wands. Okay. So I, I get two energies here. Um, uh, one, I feel like, you are maybe hoping for communication from this person. I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you. 
For others, I feel like this could be some sort of new beginning, okay? If you um, are going the route where you're, you're feeling like you want to move on, I feel like there's a new person coming in here. You do have the King of Cups and you have the lovers here, okay? So I always see the lovers as it can be a choice between two lovers. Uh, remember, roles can be reversed. So if it resonates better the other way, then take it. So you may be dealing with somebody here, like I said, if you know that you are in a third party situation, this person may be making a decision here. But I'm also getting here, this is just that the two of you have a very strong connection. There are feelings there, even if this person has not shown them to you or said that to you, because I do see that this person is returning, okay? This person is showing up as somebody who wants to start up communication again. So with that, I want to clarify this page of wands. We'll want to see if this is communication from your person or if this is a new person. Why is the page of wands here, please? Why is the page of wands here, please? Okay, you have the Hierophant. Oh, wow. And the four of wands. <laughs> Some of you, I'm feeling too, this could be a twin flame connection. But let's see. And the ten of swords. Let's pull one more. And you have the Empress. Okay. I feel, look at that, on the bottom of the deck here. Aries, I'm almost feeling here. I'm just going to get one more. I'm almost feeling like it's your wish here, okay? It feels like there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. Oh, gosh. Eight of swords. Let's get one more. Three of wands. Okay. Let's go through this. All right. So you have the page of wands and you have the hierophant and you have the four of wands. So what I'm getting here, I actually feel like there could be somebody new coming in. This could be your person um, as well. But I feel like there's somebody coming in that definitely there could be, this could lead to a very long-term relationship. For some of you, I do feel this could be union of a twin flame connection here. You've got strong Taurus energy. You have the Ten of Swords, the Empress, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Wands. So the, the energy that keeps popping up here, Aries, is that there are other options around you. There are um, possibilities if you open yourself up to it. But I feel like you keep yourself stuck because I feel like you you still have an attachment to this other person. And I feel what they're saying here, if you open yourself up to new love, to new possibilities, I feel there's somebody coming in here that you could be in a long-term relationship uh, with. But I feel like some of you are still hopeful about this situation. So I, what I'm going to do, um, Aries, is I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to look at this person. I'm going to look at what they're thinking or feeling about you, what their upcoming actions are. Um, we'll get some guidance. And then I'm going to take a look at new love so you compare the energies and see where things are going. So I hope to see you on the extended Aries. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel light.